What's going on guys, Jake Lobrek here with 98.5 WNUW and the Corona Cast. Some say that sports have taken a break during the coronavirus outbreak, however, I would beg to differ, because it was right here in Lansdale, Pennsylvania, where we are on location for the battle of the century between Chef Vicky and a pancake mix. You don't want to miss any of the action, because it's coming right up here on 98.5 WNUW. <laughs> Welcome back to the kitchen on this beautiful rainy morning. Outside temperature at 45 degrees. Wind coming from the east at 7 miles an hour. Humidity whopping 100%. But that does not stop us here today. We are on location in the kitchen ready to battle it out in the battle of the century. Chef Vicky and the pancake mix are ready. They're on the field and we're ready to rock and roll. Here we go. Oh, Chef Vicky picks up the box. She measures out a half a cup of mix, puts it in the big bowl. Oh, oh, she's got another cup out. She puts another half a cup of mix into the bowl. Oh man, we're getting serious now. She's going in for a third scooping. Chef Vicky going back for a third helping of pancake mix. She's just on a roll. Can she get a fourth? She's got a fourth. She's got a fourth from her assistant. Her assistant came out of nowhere with the fourth half a cup of mix, making it two whole cups of pancake mix in the bowl right now. What comes next? Look like she's picking up the bottle of milk. The milk, what's that, whole milk? No, that's 2% milk. She's got 2% milk in her hand. Here goes one cup into the mix. Spaloosh! And here, here we go again. Another third cup. Chef Vicky is on a roll. She's got the milk. She's got the pancake mix. The pancake box is down by two runs right now. Chef Vicky up by two. Chef Vicky reaching into the cabinet. What is she going to pull out? Looks like it's a clear bottle. And it looks like oil. She's got smart balance, cholesterol free oil. What a power move there by Vicky. And she's got... She's got one tablespoon in the mixture. She's going back for seconds. That's another point. Three nothing. Chef Vicky. And now she's reaching into the fridge. I don't know what she's got here next. Oh, she's got grade A large eggs and two of them. She's trying to crack them. The first one gives her a little trouble, but she powers through it, puts the egg in the mixture, starts whisking it, pulls out the second egg, and she can't get it to crack. Here we go. Against the, 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 uh, the bowl, she cannot get it to go. That's a point for the mixture. It's now three to one in favor of Chef Vicky. Here we go, mixing it up, getting all the delicious goodness together. And like I said, we are we are using log cabin powder, log cabin pancake mix here. And let me tell you, there is no difference. Oh, oh, out of nowhere, out of left field, Chef Vicky comes in with cinnamon. Cinnamon, are you kidding me? That is a power move. That's another run. Four to one up Chef Vicky. Ladies and gentlemen, we are witnessing greatness here. She's not even measuring the cinnamon. She's eyeballing it. Eyeballing it. Just sprinkling in. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Sprinkling in the cinnamon into the mixture as she continues to stir. What a pro move. What a pro move. And the mixture's all set to go here in Lansdale, PA. She's had a pan on the stove warming up. It's at an eight on the heat scale out of a nine point scale. And that seems a little high to me, but I'm just the guy in the booth. Nonetheless, she puts the canola oil on the pan to give it a little zing zing and Usually in my past experience, canola oil leads to a little bit of a stickier surface with a pancake, but I don't know. I prefer to use butter when I cook my pancakes, but like I said, I'm just a guy in a booth. Nonetheless, she puts the first pancake in, and it sizzles a little bit, a little sizzle here, a little sizzle there, and the bubbles immediately surface to the roof of the pancake. Chef Vicky takes a step back, yawns as she's letting the pancake took. She's really giving it to her opponent today. The bubbles rise to the surface of the pancake. More and more. Here we go down the road. It looks like it's ready to flip. Chef Vicky takes the spatula, does a 360 around the camp, around the pancake, making sure no part's going to stick to the pan. Gets under it. Goes to flip it and no it does not go she curls it up on itself and the pancake gets another point four to two an unsuccessful flip loses a huge critical point for chef vicky she cannot convert on the flip perfect execution in the pour in the wait time but the flip the flip is what's going to dock her here today and 4-2 to two now in favor of chef vicky still in the lead but lost a crucial point there 
and that pancake is out on the plate. I don't know, on a 10-point scale, I'd probably have to give that a 6. That was poor execution, and 6 is just mediocre. Next, pancakes in the pan. A sizzle here, sizzle there. Bubbles rise to the surface, and Chef Vicky stands back once again, really giving her opponent the art of ignorance, just letting the opponent suffer in the pan. The pancake mix as it cooks. I shouldn't even say pancake mix. It's a full pancake now. She's letting it cook. More bubbles rise to the top. Gets under the pancake. Goes to flip. Yes! She's got the flip. Perfect flip. Perfect execution there. And she gets another run. 5-2 to two here. Chef Vicky in the lead. And she's cooking this one. It's a little burnt, I gotta say. It's a little burnt. Gotta put a base runner on first base for the pancake mix. Because... I don't know, she could have cooked it a little less and got a little bit more golden brown instead of a little darker burnt crispness. But nonetheless, uh-oh, two down on the plate, couple more to go, but it starts to drizzle. It's starting to drizzle here in Lansdale, Pennsylvania. It's starting to rain a little bit faller coming out of the northeast corridor out into Lansdale. The drops coming down heavier and heavier as we speak, but that does not stop Chef Vicky. She's got another pancake in the pan, cooking it. Bubbles continue to rise. She's going to flip it, and another great execution of the flip. She's got a groove going now, executes two pancakes to perfection, trying for a third one as the rain continues to harden and become fuller here in Lansdale, PA. We might have to call this into a rain delay, but nonetheless, she's got a third one in the pan. Well, fourth pancake in the pan, going for a third perfect one. And here's the flip. And another great flip by Chef Vicky. Really taking it to the house. That's another. That's six points right there for the Vickster. And as we continue to cook this pancake, it looks like we're going to have to call this one as the rain continues to, to fall here in Lansdale, PA. We're going to go into a brief rain delay. We'll be back shortly on WNUW. One eternity later. Welcome back to NSN. The rain continues to fall here in Lansdale, Pennsylvania. Since Chef Vicky made three, pa three whole pancakes, that is deemed a complete match, and this match is now deemed to be concluded. Chef Vicky went in 6-2. to I'm standing by the victor now. Chef Vicky, what was going through your mind during that match? Well, I was just super excited. I just really wanted to get these pancakes out. And you know, Jake, I know my kids love pancakes, and I just needed to make the best pancakes I could get. And I think I did a great job today. Now, you use log cabin pancake mix. I would not say, I think Aunt Jemima, Jemima makes a little bit better pancakes. However, you added cinnamon. That's a pro move. What was that all about? So, Jake, here's the thing. I wanted to be all natural for my children. I wanted them to eat healthy today. So I took the log cabin all natural pancake mix, and I thought I'd add a sweetener in it, and that would be the cinnamon that I took that I chose today. Interesting, interesting. Like I said, that's a pro move. I would have preferred Aunt Jemima pancakes, but nonetheless, Log Cabin did satisfy my taste buds. So during the competition, the first pancake you made, it was atrocious. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to put it uh, lightly. It was horrible. You, you flipped it and it curled onto itself, made a huge splash, and you gave the, the opponent a point. What was that all about? Well, see, Jake, you know, the pan has to be primed just right, and I didn't have the prime down, but you know what? As I got into making those pancakes, I had that pan primed perfect. You made a key transition. The first one, you used canola oil, and then going on from there, you used butter for the pancake mix. Is that how you, you executed the priming? I did, Jake. I decided to change my mind midstream, and I chose the butter, and it worked. What kind of butter was it? That would be just our store brand. I think I had giant butter, the salted creamed butter. Interesting, interesting. I'll have to go check that out. Well, I want to thank you for joining me today. Congratulations on the big 6-2 victory. What's next on the cooking dock? I think we're doing cupcakes later today. Chocolate cupcakes with cream cheese icing. All right, I might have to come back and cover that one too. Jake Loberg signing off for NSN alongside Chef Vicky.